Hey guys, what's up? I know it's been forever and I know I've always said that I'm always back on YouTube and then I leave for a couple of years or like a year and then I'm back. But this time around, I'm officially back and I am committed to staying back on YouTube and trying to record and, you know, just basically create memories for Darlene and I. Um, I guess what's different now is... I have a motivation and my motivation is to basically keep myself occupied and grow as a person. There's a lot of things that have happened in, or has happened recently that I don't want to get into and I honestly just kind of want to look forward and see what the future holds for Darlene and I. Um, I'm not going to get into that. Um, but long story short, I don't want to fall back into this hole that I was two, three years ago when something similar happened um two three years ago i was hurt i was in this very dark place in my life um where i honestly went to drink i'm not i'm not an, i'm not an alcoholic i'm not trying to say that but i went to drinking from like every weekend honestly and it was just for me to not think about what i was going through at the moment at the time um, I was doing things that I shouldn't have done, and I do regret it. But at the same time, I had fun. I enjoyed it, but at the same time, I know that it's wrong, um, like drinking-wise. Um, so this time around, something very dramatic happened in my life, and I want to get past this, and I know I'll get past this. Like I know it's just going to take a lot of time, a lot of courage for me to actually um, move on from it. And I guess kind of, yeah, just kind of learn from it, basically. Um, and I'm not trying to be in that hole anymore. I'm not trying to be in the dark place. I'm not trying to go to the drinking or doing anything that I shouldn't be doing. Honestly, I'm not trying to go that way. Um, so right now, my biggest thing right now is to be very, very distracted at all times. Um, right now, I'm currently in the process of getting a second job. So that will at least have me distracted over the weekends. Um... I am also, again, trying to do YouTube, so on my days off, um, I can go ahead and record, make videos, make content for you guys, edit, um, also spend time with Darlene. So I'm honestly trying to be super distracted this time around and not fall into that place where I was. I once was, even though there's a lot of hurt in me, there's a lot of pain, and there's just a lot of things. Um, on top of that, I am also, I recently applied to my community college again i haven't been to school in about two three years also so i think it's time for me to go um even if it's honestly just a class or two just so i can at least get a foot into the right direction and at least i know i am going the route that i want to go um my biggest or my goal is honestly to become someone in life when I hit, once before I hit 30 years old. I'm currently 23 or basically 24 in December. So I just really want to have some sort of schooling, um, an associate, a certificate, a batch, anything basically. But I know that I have a future for Darlene and I. I'm able to afford everything for her and I and not live in my parents house you know what I mean I don't mind living just me and Darlene alone but I don't have that money to move out especially where I live where I currently live um so I just need to basically look forward and look forward as far as schooling and Darlene um so I'm thinking about that and I'm also thinking about a vocational schooling. I'm not 100% sure which one would be best for me. I know the vocational would be probably a little better just because it is about a year to get your, I don't know if you get a certificate or an associate's degree, I'm not 100% sure, but it is expensive. And then as far as like, if I go to the community college route, I would be two years in that and then like another four years when I transfer out. So in total, that'd be six years to compare to a year. Who knows? Again, I don't know what would be best for me and Darlene. So tomorrow, I actually have a um, appointment with one of the counselors for the vocational nurse. And then I just recently applied to my um, community college last night. So I won't hear back until about two, three days. So, but honestly, I'm pretty sure anyone can get accepted to a community college. So... 
that's that um and we'll see we'll see honestly what happens i am honestly so committed now that like i'm just trying to like just trying to be very positive and i know i can do it i know i can do it but i honestly need to be so committed and right now i have that commitment i now have that motivation to go to school do what i gotta do work and you know what i mean so i know i can do it um i don't want to fall I, the thing is i don't want to fall off that train that's why i'm not trying to get into that whole drinking and partying life either um besides that we obviously live with my parents it's obviously just my my parents darlene and i and my sister um we did move we moved to a smaller um house just our apartment just because um you guys know my brother left to mexico about two three years now two and a half years now so he left i now have a niece she's one and we recently went to mexico for about a week um because it was her first birthday so it's just crazy because she looks so much like darlene when she was younger um so yeah so we did move we renew our contract and we try to either get a house or something next year when our lease expires because it's very expensive and i feel like we can afford a house rather than paying all this money for an apartment that is small anyways um yeah darlene is currently in school she's currently in kindergarten because um well she's six years old she's currently in kindergarten because of her birthday so she last year she was in tk she wasn't able to go to kinder so then now she's in kinder and the next year she'll be going to first grade um she enjoys school she really likes school i cur currently have her in a program where they help her like read and write i think it's literacy something literacy the program is called and she goes twice a week for one hour after school she really likes it she enjoys it um darlene has honestly has blown my mind as far as like what she knows what how you know the school has really changed her and she's very smart she's a very smart girl um she's very caring very respectful um she's very helpful also and the only thing that Erlene and I have been trying to work on is Erlene has an attitude and I know that she got it from me and I know I also taught her that and it's bad but we've been working on that because sometimes Erlene has an attitude and doesn't want to listen and she thinks she's right and no sweetie it's not like that so I do kind of battle on that with her but overall she's very easy you know what I mean like I don't really have any issues with her just like I said just the attitude um she's currently into barbies now which is kind of like surprising because when she was a little younger she wasn't really into barbies like i would try to introduce it to her you know just because i feel like every little girl likes barbies or at least back when i was you know a little girl i like barbies so i kind of thought that she would be the same but no um just recently she's been into barbies i recently got her for her birthday a barbie house um just a lot of barbie um items <laughs> And then she's also into, you know, the LOLs and the Shopkins. And those things are so expensive. They're like this tiny and they're like $20 each. I'm just like, how are they $20 each? But obviously it's like, you know, everyone, every little girl likes it and whatnot. But still, that's that. Overall, she is healthy. Never really had any health issues with her. Um, as far as... Let me see what else. Hmm. Oh, I do have a car now. I've actually had my car for a little over a year. And I've had my driver's license for almost two years. That's crazy. Um, and I have a 2016 Toyota Camry. It's a, gr a dark gray or like a light gray. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a car tour. Who knows? Honestly, I don't know shit about cars. So if anything happens to my car or breaks down, like I'm literally calling my dad, like this is what happened to my car. I don't know what to do. And he'll just kind of tell me what to do. I mean, my car has never really broken down. It was just like the battery one time and my dad, thankfully I have my dad and he helped me. Um, I don't know shit about, I just know, I just know how to pump gas, take it out. And whenever a light pops up or for service, like I just go to the um, Toyota and get it serviced. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know shit about cars. So, if my car were to ever break down, if you guys were to see me on the freeway, just make sure you stop because 
I probably don't know what I'll be doing, honestly. <laughs> um, but thankfully, I do have insurance. I do have that side of assistance, but you just never know. You just never know. Um, so I do have that, and honestly, it has been help. Like, I mean, it's helped me because I'm more independent now. I help out my parents a lot more. I'm able to take my mom and my sister to work and back. And when my dad isn't here, my mom needs to go to the grocery store. I can take her. You know, I can go out with Darlene. Um, so it's just a lot more convenient for me now that I drive. I currently still work at the hotel. If you guys, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that before. Um, I'm almost going for two years in February. Um, I'm still you know just a front desk associate and i'm trying to move up but we'll see what happens um what else oh i have two tattoos i'm pretty sure i've never really mentioned that before in my youtube um but i had do have darlene's name tatted on here and it just says darlene with three birds just kind of representing um for me growth and how i've grown in the last year since darlene has been born obviously you guys know i was 17 when i had darlene um and i am currently 23 years old so i have grown and i've also learned a lot of things um but anyways i got this two years ago and darlene likes it when i recently had gotten it she would always ask to see it and she knew this is her name uh, every now and then she'll still like look at it and still say you know darlene and you know what i mean um but i basically got this for like an impulsive move um before i got this i always said that i was gonna have darlene's name tatted on my back or like my shoulder um but again i just got this at the moment and whatever i went through it and now i want to cover it so i want to get i want to get a cover but i want to get like half a sleeve and then obviously add darlene's name on my shoulder and that's going to take a lot of time because that's a lot of money that I don't have. So I need to save up for that, but I really do want to get that done. I also have another one over here and I just, um, it's a rose actually. It's the back of my ear and this represents strength. Um, I feel like I've, I have gained a lot of strength, even though I know sometimes I could be weak. Um, but I always try to get myself back up and try to do the right thing or try to at least, you know, look forward. Um, strength is what i need right now <laughs> but with everything that's been going on but overall it just kind of represents strength and that obviously i need strength <laughs> um that's i believe that's honestly the all i really have to really update you guys i mean there's more that you guys can probably kind of figure it out if you guys have seen my snapchats but i don't want to get into that touchy subject just yet just because everything is freshly new and everything has recently happened and obviously i'm back at my parents so you know what i mean um but i'll probably touch base on that later on in the near future but not anytime soon um but anyways if you guys have any questions comments um any video ideas you're more than welcome to go ahead and leave them down below i also want to start like i said i want to communicate with you guys interact with you guys and um i also i want to say i don't have a set schedule but i do know that i will be posting at least once a week um i, ha I do have two days off for right now so one day i'll probably vlog the next day i'll probably just edit and then upload so i don't have the set days i don't know when exactly i'll upload but i know for sure it's gonna be once a week it could later go on for two times a week but for now we're gonna work on one and then we're gonna go through it sorry um, and then just kind of you guys will see how Darlene is now, how much she's grown, and just our day-to-day -day life now. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoy, and I am glad that I'm back on YouTube. So, I will see you, well, I will see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys.